Hello everybody, welcome back to Timman Collections and today I'll be doing a better review on uh, my Trigger Tree Studios Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface Skinner mask and uh, this was sculpted by Justin Mayberry I think and um, I just love the detail of it. I mean it's uh, their interpretation of like what would you do if you amalgamate a bunch of the Leatherface masks together and I can see you could definitely see the original for sure because of that hammer notch hitting the head right there but then you see like uh the remake with jessica Beale in it and um uh i could say a little bit of part two and the third one i believe but the uh the fourth one next generation i don't know <laughs> but they try to sculpt in most of the other leather faces under one mask and i do actually like this design I saw they got a clown skinner mask. I need to get that one too, just so I can have two different ones. But anyway, uh, I got this mask. Let's see, I bought the Michael Myers Resurrection mask in 2014, right? So, two years go by. We go to Spirit of Halloween. And let's just say I did not see a Halloween 2. No, I think I did, but I didn't have enough money for it, so... I looked into the area where they got all the cheaper masks at, and boom. I said this was in my budget range, so I went ahead and bought it. So I was like, yep, yeah, I am so happy. I even love the paint job. It actually looks like old skin <laughs> on him. Now, I would say if you guys are going to be making like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan film, I've seen some people like do that and they make their own leather face masks. That's great. But if you want to save time, go with this. I mean, hey, I was actually thinking about it one time repainting this thing, but I said, why mess with perfection? Right? Because I was thinking about painting it like a um, dead, you know how uh, skin turns like a grayish flesh tone color? I said I was going to do that on here and maybe add some dried up blood right where the mouth and everything was at. I might do that. I'm not, I'm not sure. I might leave it like it is, but I was thinking about doing that for some odd reason. I said, that would have been a nice design, color. But I said, nah, look at that now, leave it like it is. But, uh, yeah, if you buy one of these, I, I can tell you these are worth in, like, repaint, rehauling into something else. Like your own custom design, basically. So, I'm going to go put this on, and I'm going to grab my chainsaw prop just to be a little goofy. <laughs> so... Be right back. I just wanted to do that. I'm sorry, but anyway. Yeah, I would say the fit on this thing is a 10 out of 10 because it feels comfortable on my face and ain't claustrophobic. And um, for you guys with big heads like me, this will definitely fit against your face right here, that's for sure. But be aware, it smells like latex. <laughs> so, yeah, this thing actually feels really comfortable. You, you can actually move, see your mouth in here. So, ah! <laughs> but, uh, I don't know what type of hair they used on this thing. It feels like the hair they used on the Myers mask and they just glued it on here, but it does look pretty good though. Like if you're not just like I said, you're not playing a particular leather face from a movie. There you go, right here. Uh, I would be shocked if they actually used this design in a movie and another installment, but I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> because you know lately they've been making I'm not saying it's anybody's fault, but I'm just saying lately in the movies they've been making Leatherface look funny. Until the Netflix one made them scary again, but <laughs> I can't wait for a sequel. I don't know, how many of you guys, uh, guys would agree to see um, the one with Alexandra Diario? I saw Texas Chainsaw 3, he was awesome. <laughs> I like that or the Netflix one, it matter. Anyway, uh, yes, you could go like this, move your teeth around. Uh, well, but anyway, uh, 
that's going to be it for now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.